Sobat 100, still with me Alfiani in 100 Institute program. Today, we're gonna learn about one kind of journey of tax. This is the easiest one. Can you guess what it is? Yep, procedure tax. So, what is procedure tax? In this procedure tax, we will talk about the definition of the procedure tax, the purpose, the generic structure, the language feature, the example, and we also have Q&A or question frequently asked in national examination. Let's go to the first part. The definition of procedure tax. Jadi, apa sih arti dari procedure tax? Hayo, ada yang sudah tahu belum? So, procedure tax is a tax that explains or helps us how to make or use something step by step. Yep, step by step. Jadi, procedure tax adalah tax yang memuat bagaimana cara membuat sesuatu atau menggunakan sesuatu step by step. Langkah demi langkah. This is the example of procedure tax. How to make a delicious pizza. Hmm, yummy. Well, next is the purpose of procedure tax. Purpose adalah tujuan dibuatnya tax ini. Kenapa sih tax ini dibuat? So, the purpose of procedure tax is to describe how something is completely done through a sequence of series. Jadi, tujuan dari procedure tax adalah untuk menunjukkan bagaimana sesuatu bisa selesai melalui beberapa urutan proses. Oke, okay. next is the generic structure of procedure tax. Mungkin Sobat 100 sering mendengar kata-kata generic structure. Tapi sebenarnya apa sih generic structure? Generic structure adalah bagian-bagian paragraf yang ada di sebuah teks. Jadi, untuk procedure text, ada apa saja sih di dalamnya? Number one is the goal. It is showing you the purpose of the text. So, you can easily find it in the title of the text. Biasanya, goal ini ada di judulnya ya Sobat 100. Number two is material. It is telling you the needed materials. Bahan-bahan atau alat-alat yang akan digunakan selama proses. Well, let's go for number three. It is steps or the end of generic structure. It is describing the steps to achieve the purpose. Jadi, di sini nih penulis menuliskan langkah-langkahnya bagaimana membuat atau menggunakan sesuatu. Gampang kan Sobat 100? Well, the next is language feature. Language feature adalah unsur kebahasaan yang digunakan dalam suatu teks. Jadi, di procedure teks ini biasanya menggunakan First, temporal conjunction atau kata hubung yang biasanya digunakan seperti first, then, after that, finally, and etc. Then, the second is using action verb atau kata kerja seperti put, mix, cut, plug in, etc. And the third is using imperative sentence atau kalimat perintah Like pour the flower into the bowl Well, if you want to know more about imperative sentence, you can click the description box below Oke, okay? jadi kalau misalkan Sobat 100 pengen tahu lebih banyak tentang imperative sentence Kalian bisa klik di description box yang di bawah ya The next is using simple present. I'm sure you know the form of simple present tense. Yes, it is subject plus verb one. Now here we go to the next example of procedure text. How to make 
a pencil box. As you can see, how to make a pencil box is the title. And it shows you the goal of the text. Well, after that, we have materials here. So what are needed to make a pencil box? Then the last we have steps. Here, there are some steps that we have to use to make a pencil box completely. Sobat Seratus, here you can see. Wash is the action verb. And wash the plastic bottle. This is the imperative sentence that we have talked about before. Gampang kan Sobat Seratus? It is easy, busy, lemon squeezy. Okay. Let's go to the last station. It is questions and answers frequently asked in national examination. Jadi ini nih biasanya pertanyaan-pertanyaan yang biasanya ditanyakan di ujian nasional, sobat. Here is the text about chicken soup. Hmm. And this is the ingredients. The methods or the steps. Then, after that, you will find this kind of question. Okay, so in this question, what do we do first after rinsing the chicken? A. Put the bowl into an oven. B. Place the chicken in a bowl. C. Reduce heat to low and simmer. D. Add vegetable and enough water. Apa yang kita lakukan terlebih dahulu setelah mencuci ayam? Okay, sobat seratus, try to answer in three, two, one. Okay, the answer is B. Why so? In method, you can see first rinse the chicken. After that. Place the chicken in a bowl and add vegetables and enough water. So the answer is B. Place the chicken in a bowl. Here, ini adalah langkah kedua setelah mencuci ayam, kemudian taruh di dalam bowl or baskom. So the answer is B. Okay, so we have talked everything about procedure text. And it's all done. Now, if you want to know more videos about English, click the next video. See you!